now to introduce um, our Master of Ceremonies, Assembly Member James Ramos. Um, he is our first uh, Californian Native American to hold the position um, of state legislator for here in the state of California. He's the former chairman of the San Manuel Band of Mission Indians. And um, from here, I would like him to go ahead and um, start us off. So uh, thank you for everybody for being here and um, looking forward to the discussion. But thank you, thank you, Mary. And this is very uh, a timely discussion um, that's going on right now in our different communities that are there. So thank you for inviting me to MC. We sit in the California State Legislature as the first California Indian elected. But with panels like this, I know I won't be the only one in the future. And so before we get started, I wanted to offer one of our traditional songs uh, as an opening, land acknowledgement, a prayer um, for all the things that we're going to discuss. Because a lot of the things that each panel list will discuss and what we're going through brings back a lot of uh, memories of our ancestors and things that we went through in school. So I want to go ahead and offer this song. This is a Serrano um, Bighorn Sheep song. I don't know if I stand up. Joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no eva, a pa e patenaiva, a pa e patenaiva, joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no eva, a pa e patenaiva, a pa e patenaiva, joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no eva. Aku pa e pate naiva, aku pa e pate naiva. Ha, joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no eva. Aku pa e pate naiva, aku pa e pate naiva. Ha, joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no eva, joy of no and no. So thank you, and, and thank you for this opportunity. We wanted to share culture, and the song that we sang is a bighorn sheep song, searching um, for the bighorn sheep in our area. Today, I want to thank everybody for joining us um, for this very special webinar, um, Toppling Missions, Monuments, and Mythologies. In this conference, it is my understanding that we have approximately 1,300 registered people from throughout the world to be able to be participants in this webinar. So give yourselves a round of applause there. And we thank you for that many people showing interest in what's truly going on here in the state of California. Not only do we have people from California and the United States, but also Canada, Mexico, the United Kingdom, Germany and South Africa. So these are timely discussions, not only for us here in the state of California, but across the world. This is definitely shows the hunger for this conversation that we're about to dive into here in our area. So we talked about the diverse area that's there and the diverse crowd, but let me begin by thanking Professor Jennifer Hughes and Oscar Gutierrez, our technical specialist, for all they did to make this webinar today happen, as well as the University of California Riverside for hosting today's event. Today's webinar is funded through the Office of the President's Critical Mission Studies Project. Joining us as participants today is a lot of people that are out there, people that are waiting to hear, finally, in time, the perspective from the California Indian people on what truly happened in the history of the state of California. I am proud of that honor to be able to be here on this in MC as we continue to move forward in this dialogue. It's a great responsibility that we all have in the positions that we have 
especially in the state legislature, not only to serve our constituents, to show that California Indian people represent the state of California, not just within our tribal communities, but we represent the state of California in everything that we do. I have been a lifelong resident of the San Manuel Indian Reservation. My tribe, we're Serrano and Kuia. Learning the songs, learning the traditions is something that continues to move forward. And it still is disheartening at times to realize just how much ignorance still exists about the history of California Indian people. I applaud the current efforts to bring greater understanding of what statues and monuments truly mean on both sides of the equation. We were told you can't erase history, but no one really asked, well, who wrote that history that we're talking about today? Or is that history incomplete? And we're here today to start to talk about that side of history that hasn't been told. It's not about erasing history. It's about getting factual history into the history books, into the educational stream, so that everybody starts to truly understand what happened to the Californian people during those eras. And we're still here, strong and vibrant, more than ever, united to start to tackle these issues. On Monday, just to show the era that's going on, for once, we've been arguing and debating over the name of the Washington Redskins. And finally, that name is coming down to be changed. This is the era that we're living in. This is the era that has come our way. And we need to capitalize on it to make sure that we're correcting those history books that are out there. In the state capitol, the Juan Pedro Sierra statue did come down. And myself and other legislators wrote a letter to our rules committee and leadership asking them to not put that statue back out until we have meaningful discussion on what happened and what that means to the California people and to have discussion including the California Indian people in those discussions that are there. So when we start to look at what's going on, when we start to look at this webinar, certainly we could talk about Christopher Columbus, but that's a Pan-American view of what has happened to the Indian people, which is something that we do still support because of the oppression that took place throughout the world. But we talk about what happened here in the state of California, the mission system started the areas of atrocities and genocide towards California people that paved the way when the state became a state, when the United States came forward. So the mission system and the leaders through Juan Pedro Sierra brought far more atrocities and genocide to the California Indian people here in our area. And it's time that we start to set the record straight, not to erase history, but to finally have our voices heard when those history books are being taught in our school system. If all we're gonna do is talk about toppling missions and not move forward to re-educate California on who we are as California Indian people, then what are we truly doing to honor all of our ancestors? It's time to be able to start that discussion. This is just the first in a discussion of many to start to bring forward and to make sure that that quality of education is there from all perspectives. We have a lineup of, of panelists that will be speaking, but we sit here today to start to bring factual accounts of California Indian history into the schools, into the, to the forefront, so that we're not left out of the equation anymore.